Uh, Mr. Speaker. Andrew Bailey. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, you must have to say that today is really a good day. Uh, I think what we're discussing with this bill is truly a very important uh, piece of legislation and a credit to everyone in the House. But I, at times I've listened to some of the speeches and wondered whether, in fact, anyone on the, uh, everyone on the Select Committee, and I certainly was a member of that, uh, actually participated in the Select Committee, because I think uh, there's been a lot of contributions in that Select Committee, uh, not only from the officials, who were very uh, helpful in working through the various aspects of this um, issue, or the various issues in this bill, but also as a general way and a forum for discussing many of these um, positions that we finally ended up with in this bill. And I want to acknowledge everyone on the Select Committee, um, and certainly my colleagues, who I don't think have been uh, acknowledged properly, because I think through genuine discussion, we actually have arrived at a, a great place for New Zealand workers. And I think, as, uh, I think just in the uh, migration of the discussion of this bill, as it passed through the Select Committee, uh, it's been an interesting transition, because particularly from an employer's perspective, uh, most employers do understand what's right and what's wrong. And we had a number of submissions from uh, employers who certainly had issues with uh, what's termed zero-hour contracts, and we heard those and respected those and listened to them very carefully. As we heard the position of the unions, who were also very thoughtful in their deliberations. So I think where we've derived us at, at the bill, and as an employer myself, or a former employer myself, I believe what we've ended up with is something that is pragmatic, is fair, and actually is very uh, useful uh, in terms of um, achieving an outcome that will help both businesses and employees. And I think the, the key question of this is how do we treat our employees particularly? And there were cir circumstances where they were unfairly disadvantaged, and the rules that we put in place around that uh, deal with those and go to the heart of it. But I just want to remind the House, there are still occasions when casual um, employment arrangements are fair, are appropriate, and are required by the contractors who are seeking those types of arrangements. So whilst we have made substantial uh, changes and improvements to the zero hour uh, aspect of employees, where we've arrived at also caters for the flexibility that both employers and employees or uh, contractors require. So, Mr Speaker, I just want to thank everyone and also to the Minister for the um, way he's uh, driven this bill through the House. And I think, uh, just paraphrasing uh, Mahatma Gandhi, the culture of a country is demonstrated in the way we treat our, uh, our people. And I think where we've ended up with this bill, it's the right thing to do. And I'm very proud to be associated. And it's a good day in Parliament. Thank you very much. All right.